Hey YouTube, this is Gallagher123123 here. In front of me, I have a laptop that I got about two weeks ago. This is the Dell Latitude D630. Now what this laptop is, it's pretty older, it's an older laptop, and my reason for getting it was I wanted something affordable that if I broke it, you know, trying to install a different operating system, you know, I wouldn't be screwed, because, you know, laptops are not cheap. So, I decided to check eBay, and I put in, as a search, Windows 7 laptop, and this was the first result. It's a Dell Latitude D630 with the following specs. It's got 4 gigs of RAM, a 80 gigabyte hard drive and an Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Now, for what I wanted this for, I'm like, eh, it should be okay. So, after some thinking, I did snatch up one of these. And I really like it as, you know, a computer. I'll tell you, it doesn't beat my MacBook Air, but it's nice to have around. So let's get into this a little bit. And first I'm going to apologize for the noise of the air conditioning. And you probably hear my old wall clock, which I reviewed before. Okay, so let's show you around. I'm not going to list all the ports, because I, I still can't figure out half of them. Looks like it's got, yeah, it's Ethernet. Looks like it, this thing can even support dial-up. Pretty interesting. Um... That be a parallel port? Oh wow. Now that I feel that, that feels very much like a parallel port. Um power. All kinds of stuff. USB ports. It's got it all. Wi-Fi has a good Wi-Fi chip. So I'm sure you're bored looking at the outside with Dell written on it. So unveiling the inside of the Latitude D630. It's very nice. Nice trackpad and everything. It's got this little cool thing near the F and the G keys. No, maybe it's the G and H. Um, I guess it's another, like, mouse type thing. I had no idea what it was. I thought something was wrong with the computer. But I looked, looked at a few other videos on YouTube and sure enough it had that got a CD drive. So what have I done with this, you're probably wondering. My first task was to throw Vinix at it. Vinix is a Linux distro based on Ubuntu 12.04, I think I want to say. But unfortunately, that failed pretty badly. It, w it ran better than it ran 7. However, it didn't have Wi-Fi drivers. So I was not unable to get online with it. And to me, that was the big problem. Otherwise, this machine would still be on Vinix. So thanks to Brian Smart, he released a talking Windows 7 installer. And I was able to put 7 back on this machine. That's been running 7 ever since. So, let us boot it up. And you'll see... We'll see how long it takes. And then we'll start a few programs just to show you that it works pretty decently. So I'm going to power it on. And you might be able to hear a little CD drive sound. Now there's the Dell logo. Of course, now you're getting your standard Windows 7 boot up screens. Now, I have no idea how old this computer is. At first, I thought it might be five or so years old, but I'm changing my tune a bit. I'm beginning to think this might be eight years old. Because on the Dell site, actually, give us a second while it boots. 
it was referencing that this came with originally either XP, there we are, XP Pro, or Vista. So, this might be older than I thought. But I'm sure this has been upgraded a bit. It's pretty fast. Okay, so let's get a screen reader up. First one we'll try is NVDA, because I know that's what a lot of people like, so I'm going to launch it. So we're in the start menu now. I'll try and do this one handed so you guys can see it. Oh, kick me out of the start menu, it looks like. Alright, so let's try NVDA. Perfect, and we'll hit enter. And we wait, um, Look, password. there it is. I'm just going to clear out a window here. Return sync icon 102. Return sync property page sync 2 period 0 period 105 is available. Sync 2 period 0 period 105 is available. Sync 2.0 is now of available. When you upgrade all of your folders, permissions, and settings, return sync 1 period 3 period 109. 0.0 kb slash sm. 0.0 kb slash sm property page. List. Okay, that was just BitTorrent sync. So you can see NVDA runs decently. We'll change my synthesizer. Synthesizer dialog. Synthesizer combo. ESP, EDL, Festivals, Microsoft, Microsoft, Nuance, Vocalizer, Express, 1 period 1 period 1. Get some vocalizer up here. Start menu. Search box edit search programs and files. Blank. Jaws J1 of Sky Best 2 of Getting Started. Notepads. Windows Me. Calculator. Sticky Notes. RS Games Club. Snipping Tool List. Apple Soft. Showing us responsive. Search box edit search programs and files. Start button control plus ESC. Okay. Alright, we still do have. A little bit of time. Hold on. Let's try to see some weird thing came up. Alright, so now that we have NVDA up, we'll try JAWS. So, um, some people might be annoyed at me for starting this, but you know what? Caps. Oops. Caps lock on. Caps lock on. We will start JAWS 16. Which I do not own yet, but I will soon be a JAWS owner because of a deal Freedom Scientific is having at NFE convention, which I'm attending. Alright, so we're starting up JAWS 16. Warning, my speech is set pretty fast, but I'm just going to show you that it does run. And then we'll shut the computer down. Takes it a minute to start JAWS, but sometimes Okay, so it's telling me that we need to update our authorization. Do that when I get back from NFB. So let's say continue to run 40 minute mode. And then let us. We will shut this down. And let's hope it will shut down without doing updates. And there it is. So that's the Dell Latitude D630. Decent machine. Heavy though. Man. It's on the heavy side. Um, okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this. See you in the next video.